and as Kirby grew the Good evening. Hi, everybody. I am so happy to be here tonight. We're going to show you some magic. So I'd like you all to let go of all your preconceptions of what you think is impossible. Because tonight, absolutely nothing is impossible. And the first impossibility I'd like to show you <laughs> is a very original illusion. We call it the magical origami box. And here it is right here. Now this is a small box. You can see it's about 12 inches square. And it sits on a very thin table, okay? I'm gonna describe this closely so you can pay attention. There are two ivory blades running through the sides and the front and back of the box. And a wooden pole that goes right through the box and comes through a, a little hole in the bottom of the table. Now to add to your viewing enjoyment, we're going to put this mirror behind the box so that you can see the box from the back and from the side angles throughout. This is kind of a, a new idea in magic. People always wonder what magic looks like from the back. Well, now you're gonna get a chance to see that. Now the reason we call this an origami box, folks, is because this box unfolds like an origami work of art. Origami is the Japanese art of, of paper folding. And this small 12-inch square box unfolds to make a much larger box. Actually, it's about four times larger. Origami is still a very popular Japanese art form today with the, the paper folders making airplanes and birds and all kinds of things like that. There we go. Now, the reason we call this a magical origami box is because this box holds just as much when it's folded down small as it does when it's opened out large. It's very magical. And I'll show you what I mean. Debbie in her turquoise costume <laughs> is getting down here, and she's actually going to get down inside of the magical origami box. There she goes. Now, as she gets down inside of the box, you'll notice that she barely fits inside of the box when it's opened up to its large size. But here is the magic. Even though she barely fits in the large box, we're going to attempt to do this. Fold up the box. Now as I do this, there's a, a tiny little poem that, uh, that goes with the box. I'd like to tell you about it. A little box proved otherwise. The world at large made small in size. Oh, yes. The saber's right through the box. First, the saber goes right through the front. You can see it coming through the back, through the mirror. And now this saber, right through the sides. You can hear Debbie. She says it's cold. Whoopee! The wooden pole, right through the center. The magical origami box. Isn't that crazy? Debbie, now when we go on the plane, I can take you as carry-on baggage. <laughs> we'll take turns. Now, the Japanese always believed that what could be folded up could also be unfolded. So let's see what Japanese surprise we have in here as I unfold the box. This is my favorite part here. And as I do this, the little poem that comes with the box continues. And as they gazed, the wonder grew. The more they saw, the less they knew. Each fold and crease had not explained all wonders of the world contained. Wife. Debbie is my wife. She does some of her own magic, too. We're trying to uh, groom her to be the, one of the world's greatest lady magicians. Have there ever been any lady magicians? Yes, there were. Actually, there was a magician named Del O'Dell. She was an American magician. And uh, Alexander Herman, one of the greatest magicians of all time, he taught his wife 
When he passed away, that's not going to happen in this family. She continued. <laughs> now, I worked, I was a magician's assistant. I worked with a man named, my, one of my first jobs in the business was a man named Kuda Bucks. He and they said you wonderful. worked with him. Kuda Bucks, he was getting real old. He was about 60, 70, 80, I don't even know. And he said, Doug, you're the up and coming magician. Come to my apartment and I'll teach you some of his secrets. And he had wonderful things. And I, I used some of these secrets in my show.